Hello everyone, we are from Group 9. My name is Yu Jiayi, metric ID CA19068. Without wasting any time, we straight away go to the introduction. Kota is a city located in Kyoto Prefectures, Japan. In 2002, Yawata Intranet was implemented to support the day-by-day -day operation of the city government. After 8 years, the intranet infrastructure is not longer able to support it anymore. So the government have to solve a lot of issue and problems to continue operating. In October 2010, a request for purpose proposals was published by the Yawata City. After that, a competitive open bidding is held to rebuild the Yawata intranet system. Fujisu's access was awarded the contract after the competitive bidding process. Overall, the government faced five issues. The first issue is the number of physical servers keep on increasing. To operate a server, we have to consume energy. Since the number of physical servers keep on increasing, so the energy we consume also increase. Overconsumption of the power will lead to an environment pollution. This could be a big problem to the government because Yawata city is an ideal resistant area. The second issue is high hardware maintenance costs. As you know, the number of physical servers increase, so the maintenance costs will also increase. We have to purchase the new accessory that has broken or damaged, and we also need to pay the salary for the system administrator and other IT staff. The third issue is space constraint. Uh, the Yawata intranet server room is already almost full, so it is in sufficient space to support Yawata intranet future capacity grow anymore. Uh, the server room is full because there is a rebuild of the mission critical system in 2010. This result in a heterogeneous mix of new and old machine. The fourth issue is system availability. A single hardware failure will lead to a large area of system failure. For example, the groupware and the domain controller reside on the same machine. So, if there is any changes in the groupware, the neighboring application domain controller will also be affected. The last issue is operation stability and business continuity. If the Yawata intranet is not stable, the Yawata government personnel will be unable to work properly and affect the business. So, the method to solve the issue is server consolidation and server virtualization. Server consolidation means we run multiple applications on a single server. By doing so, we can solve the main problem that is uh, reduce the number of physical server needed. After we reduce the number of physical server needed, then we can solve many and many problems like uh, overconsumption of energy and environment pollution. The second technology we implement is virtualization. Virtualization means dividing a physical server into multiple unit and isolated virtual server. By doing so, we can not only reduce the number of physical server needed, we can also improve the system availability and operation stability. Basically, we implement two hardware and two software, and we will talk more about this hardware and software on the implementation and configuration part. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, thank you. Now, I will pass to the next presenter. A very good day to Madam. My name is Tang Xingzhe. Today, I will continue to present the implementation and the configuration part. In order to apply the virtualization intranet, there are six processes we need to proceed. The first process is installation of Atranus DX60 Disk Storage. It is a hardware that is support for that technology. Before installing, we need to install the rack, controller enclosure, and AC outlet box in order to protect the equipment and wire inside it from surrounding environment like physical damage from outside. 
and in this process we have three steps that we need to do. The second process is installation Windows Server 2008 R2. As usual, before installation, we need to unplug or turn off the UPS equipment and make a backup of server and shut down all software for wireless protection. Then we can proceed to install it completely. And in this process, we have 11 steps that we need to go with. The third process is installation of Microsoft System Virtual Machine Manager 2008 R2. This is also one of the software which can support for virtualization. And in this process, we have 15 steps that we need to do in order to complete install this software. And the fourth process is configure Windows Server 2008 R2. After installing the Windows Server 2008 R2, we need to focus on active direct domain service and configure a domain controller on Windows Server 2008 R2. Therefore, in this process, they have 18 steps that we need to proceed. The fifth process is significant and configuration hyper -Vibro. hyper -Vibro is used for creating and running a software version of computer called as virtual machine, also can call as virtual server. As usual, we need to make sure the installation of Microsoft Server 2008 and basic configuration is done before starting to install and configure Hyper-V. And in this process, we have X steps that we need to go with. Finally, the sixth process is configuration of virtual machine or called as virtual server. Before starting the configuration, we need to make sure the installation of Microsoft Windows Server 2008 with Hyper-V have been done. And in this step, we have 11 steps that we need to go with in order to configure virtual machine in Windows Server 2008 up. Next, let me proceed to the next part which is the feature of new devices. Firstly, Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V. One of the features is it supports the live migration. It enables us to move performing virtual machine from one Hyper-V host to next transparently along with no causing any downtime. Besides, it supports disaster recovery. It provides with IT environment and across data center by using geographically. Furthermore, high availability and business continuity is because it can reduce physical server from 12 to 4. Secondly, Microsoft System Central Virtual Machine Manager Server 2008 R2. One of the features is support Windows Server 2008 R2 Live Migration. It means that it can work well with the software without any conflict. Cooperation of both software could help in reducing the planner downtime association with routine system maintenance. Besides, it can support intelligent placement and consolidation candidate function. Therefore, it can help make better accurate decisions about where new virtual machines should be placed and where new virtual machines should be migrated to. Furthermore, it supports dynamic IT environment. It can automatically reallocate virtual machine workloads depending on resource use and availability capacity. Thirdly, Fujitsu Primary RX300 X6 Server. One of the features is supporting reducing server disruption in rebooting process. It could help a lot in minimizing the impact on the user of the system and increasing the productivity. Besides, it also can support migrate process function. It means that it's able to move the task in the field server to the hub server to enter Yavada Internet system always stay online and minimize the possible risk. Moreover, it also supports echo environment friendly feature. It has the ability to generate smaller ecological footprint. Lastly, Fujitsu External DX60 Disk Storage. One of the features is support reliable operation at an affordable price. Besides, it also supports data safety functionality and enterprise feature set. Moreover, it also supports faster and easier installing, configuring, operating, and maintaining feature. Therefore, it reduces the required time for the service recover done for the field server. Hence, this new feature is able to ensure the virtual machine of Yavata City is always stay online. That's all from me. Thank you. I would like to pass the mic to the next presenter. Which... Good day, madam. My name is Benedict Honai, matrix ID CA19109. And now I will talk about the advantages of applying server virtualization and consolidation. First, it can help in decreasing the physical server. 
before server virtualization and consolidation, there are 12 physical servers are needed for Nawata City. And now it has decreases to only four physical server. As a result here, Nawata City system can be housed in a single and compact run. Next, I will talk about the advantages of using physical Fujitsu Premergy RS 300 at six server. One of them is it has high power efficiency when 92% efficient power supplies. This model also support up to 60 up to 192 GB RAM expansion. This is very useful because it can make the system run smoothly. Besides that there are also several PCLE slots are available. So the local government can expand the storage based on their need. In addition I will talk I will talk about the advantages of using Fujitsu Eternals BS 60 disk storage. One of the reasons why it is chosen because of its price and its rich data safety functionality. Besides that, it is also easily and efficiently operated. Not only this, this there is also no extra cost will be charges for its software packets. Lastly, I will talk about why I will talk about the advantages of using Microsoft Windows Server R2 Hyper V. It is chosen because of its flexibility which can move physic virtual gates between physical hosts. Operational costs here also can be decreases due to the situation that there are less physical server are needed. I will talk about the disadvantages of applying server virtualization and consolidation. First is the high implementation cost due to the large number of users. For example, Nawata City need to support up to at least 31,183 users. Not only this, the expenses for hardware and software is also increased due to the issues of the device use for virtualization need to be manufactured or developed. Besides that, server virtualization and consolidation also increase the security risk. This is because the data stored in the server of Nyawada City may be stolen and then sold to someone who will use it for a bad purpose. In addition, server virtualization and consolidation still have limitations due to the issues that not every server of software can support the virtual environment. For sure, it can save time and money for long-term use, but in the short-term use, it may not be worn due to the high implementation costs what is more, not every vendor here is mastering the virtualization and consolidation technology. Hence, the implementation process will be more and more complex. Finally, the availability issues also happen. This is because server sometimes may not connect to the user's data. This problem has led to the problem that users cannot access the system. I will talk about the related chapter from Network Service Administration. First is chapter 1, introduction of the server. The server is built in the combination of hardware or software device which add to accept and respond to the request met over the network. In the Nyawata Internet system, the physical server are domain controller, management server and backup server and the virtual server are email box server, e-learning server and group web server. In our case study, the client is a thin client for example, the Nyawata government personnel depends heavily on the server of Nyawata internet system. Second is chapter 2, domain name system. Domain name system is a heuristical distributed database that contains mapping of DNS domain name to various types of data like IP address. The internet system in Nyawata had two domain controllers which are domain controller 1 and 2. Both of them can act as domain name system server. The domain controller is a server responsible for authentication, verification and request for users on computer or smartphone through the network. That's all from me, thank you and I will pass to the next, next presenter. The related topic for our case study is Chatter Air, which is Windows Server Update Service Process. Inside the Chatter Air, have a subtopic called Windows Server Update Service Process. It is described that the update management project has four steps which is access, identify, evaluate, and plan, and deploy. Let's see. For phase one is access. For example, the Fujitsu team 
must access the number of server and client computer they must update a uh, time frames that is acceptable for deployment and average update is what the team should accept too. They must also determine the computer store, network bandwidth, platform, product, and then grid database to update to ensure the process of updating Windows Server Hyper-V runs smoothly. For the phase, phase 2 identify. For the example, the Fujitsu team has to double check, double confirm that all the upgrade of computer component is complete and relevant to the production environment determined before that. Next is phase 3, elevate and plan. For the example, the Fujitsu team elevate the update by running different type of testing in a test environment. The Fujitsu team has created and provide the government set of real vital documents such as design specification and product. Procedure document. This allows the government to obtain a better understanding of new technology and developing knowledge and skill through OJT on the job training. The next step, the next phase is for report. For example, to reduce the risk, the Fujitsu team take a step by step plan to determine in phase 3 to progressive migration to the new environment. Yamata Internet has been refusing when to active in February 2011. We have four recommendations for our case study. Firstly, the recommendation that we suggest is to create and design a mobile first workplace for the local government to improve the internet system of Yamata City with the help of mobile ready internet solution. Those workers who are forced to work from home can easily access the central system of Yawata internet system for the purpose of accepting the information and data needed anywhere else, anywhere or anytime they ran. Secondly, the recommendation that we suggest is to increase the security of the virtual, virtual server of the internet system by creating the virtual firewall. This is because the communication made by virtual server is typically using a network which explore the possibility of being hacked or attacked by an attacker. The, the recommendation that we suggest is to apply the network monitoring toys in a virtual server. This because with the help of the toy, we can monitor the network traffic, especially its speed and bandwidth. For example, when detecting a spike in traffic of running speed of the network traffic seriously decreases, we have to be aware of that and take certain action. The last recommendation that we suggest is upgrade the internet system to cloud-based internet. It is a next-gen internet system which has a more efficient solution compared with visualization or on-premise internet. It is able to allow effective seamless connections for all employees inside the organization regarding of their allocation. Therefore, employees can work remotely to enable administrative operation in the city of Yavata to work globally and smoothly even though they are not in the country. A few recommendations that contain the FSC environment are given by us so that Yavata internet perform better. The first idea is to install a network monitoring tool. It can help in port configura configuration and performance management. For example, it not only can detect and place the faults in the network, but also monitor the speed and bandwidth of the network. The second idea is to implement a virtual server. Virtual firewall can also achieve accounting purpose by retaining the access to the network system to ensure only authorized users can enter to the network and make checks on it. Besides that, cloud-based solution and mobile first workplace can enhance the throughput and efficiency of the government personnel and lead to to an improvement in performance. In conclusion, with the cooperation of Fujitsu Company, the all internet system in Yawata City is successfully upgrading to network visualization by adopting and implementing the hardware product and software service. It comes along with a great advantage in eco-friendly and business continuous to this city. Hence, the city of Yawata can achieve a great society got and perform their administrative functions stably.